Hey everyone, Brody here with our new channel, Let's Table It. I have a brand new copy of Guild Academies of Valeria by Daily Magic Games to unbox for you all today. We've managed war, intended crops, killed for coin, and achieved visions from the holy martyr Aquila. You've mastered the principles of every guild and devoted your life to Valeria. But time grinds onward, and you must plan to foster the next generation of hardworking citizens and skilled protégés. Now is the moment to cement your legacy with your own guild academy. This task will not be the work of a single day. You must choose the right students, hire the most learned professors, and create the best environment where students can learn from real-world environments. To succeed, you must gain influence over the ministers in the town council, acquire their favors, and earn their support for the time when your academy will be judged. Just imagine the pride that you'll feel as you watch your graduates go out in the world to complete dangerous but rewarding quests, showing everyone that yours is, yes, indeed, the greatest of the Guild Academies of Valeria. In the game, you will be playing four rounds with four phases in each round. First, the recruitment phase where players will place one of their three steward tokens out on a dock to then collect one of the students represented by dice. These have been randomly rolled and have different values on them. The values and colors are important because they will limit you when using them for actions in the education phase or when you send them to learn in classrooms. Once their value is changed above a 6, they are considered graduated and can then be used to send off to complete quests. In this phase, you are choosing a student to draft as well as choosing an action to take from one of the docks. Gaining classroom tiles to add to your own academy is important and you can then use the formula written on that tile to gain additional bonuses. There are different types of classrooms. Some give you actions to perform during the next step, while some will give you in-game points. You will want to place these so that you can complete monuments to gain more bonuses. This is some of the combo action that happens in this game. And in-game points can also be rewarded due to ways that you place your tiles. You will be placing your banner tokens on the ministry track to gain bonuses and also opportunities for in-game points. When sending students to classrooms, you also might need to provide a professor of a certain color to complete the shown formula and to teach those students. Drafting faculty can be important to take these actions and you will have a faculty area on your player board. Coins and magic will be important to do certain actions, and magic can also be used to help you to increase the values of the student dice to graduate them and send them off to go on a quest. The education phase is assigning your students and faculty to classrooms and taking the bonuses shown on that classroom if you have the shown requirement. Keeping students back will let you perform more of these actions on the next round, but this would also let you send less graduated students out on quests. Questing is done by taking all graduated students in that round and assigning them to one of the quest cards available. Each quest requires two students, so make sure that you plan accordingly as any leftover students not used to quest but have been graduated will not produce anything for you. The last phase is the restoration phase where you will reset the board to play another round. Scoring is done for your prestige tiles and for upper council chamber members with a banner token placed on it. You will be moving those around during the game. And now from the sounds of things, as I haven't played the game yet, I think this will be my new favorite Valeria game. I am a fan of many of the Valeria games, but this one just gets into that complexity range just where I like it. The students and the professors are assigned to a guild. The blue guild is the holy guild. The red guild is the soldier guild. The gray is the shadow guild. And the orange is the worker guild. These continue to be true for the students, for the professors, and the different types of classrooms that might require those colored people to benefit from them. Players will choose a color to play as in the game. You can choose from red, purple, 
this bluish green and like a lime green color. Each player also has a magenta headmaster token to be used during the game. Each player will have a player board that connects together and will be used to track resources and to place students and faculty on. Tiles are then placed above the player board. Anyways, I hope you enjoy your copy of the game or you find the information that you want, whether you want to own this game or play this game, and I hope that I answered some of those questions. Again, this is Brody with Let's Table It. Please like and subscribe to this channel. We are new and working hard to bring to you videos like this one so that you know if this is a game that you want to get to your own table.